is trained by the legendary Jeff Fennick. Hass, uh, how are you feeling about this big fight on this monster show this Wednesday night? Uh, th thanks for having me, Ben, and no limit, I just want to thank you, boys. Um, you know, Jeff was telling me before, um, had his first world title here. My dad's 40, so now it's my turn, and I just can't wait to prove on for you guys. You would have been to the fights at this venue as well, and um, seen some of the big shows over the years, your dad and, and others. Um, it must be a place with a bit of history for the family. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's my turn to have a taste, and I can't wait to um, show you guys what I'm made of. You're in a decent fight as well, and um, I'm sure you've got big things planned in 2022. We haven't seen much of you on TV up until this point. What should those who are going to see you for the first time expect to see on Wednesday night? Yeah, you know, we've been training in the house down, me and Jeff. You know, fresh off of American training camp, and um, yeah, expect fireworks. We're working hard and prepared to go the full five rounds. And if it stops before then, it does. So. Anything on the horizon after this fight for you? Any names or anyone you're heading towards? Any name. We, every time we get a, a name, somebody pulls out. So Hass is uh, trained really, really well. I'm, like I said, I'm so excited to finally get a fight. And I trained his dad when his dad was younger. They're totally different. His dad was uh, much more of a boxer. Hass has uh, got, uh, got a great kit of punches. He's uh, very, very powerful. and. Um, I think he's just coming to his own now. I've been training for just over three years and I'm seeing all the benefits and everything that we've worked on just coming to fruition now. And uh, I think we're going to see somebody who over the next 12 months will, will get in the top 10 in the world and will be ready to, to shock the world very, very soon. That's Jeff Fennick talking. His trainer, of course, uh, the legendary three-time former world champion and boxing hall of famer who's got three fighters on this card, Hass Hamden being one of them. Um, Jeff, Team Fennick is uh, well and truly back in action. A busy night for you on Wednesday. Yeah, we've got young Tyler Blizzard uh, who's in the front row here, who's, uh, who has beat Sam Goodman as an amateur, which is a huge feat because Sam is a, is a great young fighter and is going to be a great professional, but Tyler um, spoiled his uh, amateur career by, by beating him, so Tyler's got great credentials. I'm looking forward to him having his first pro fight and uh, he's taking those shortcuts. He's gone straight to fight somebody who can fight and all credit to him and thanks to No Limit. And also got uh, Kate McLaren who's going to have her third fight and then she's been training really hard and we're looking forward to that as well but the thing that I'm looking forward to most apart from obviously my boys winning is the main event and I want to take my hat off to you Harry that um, yeah, this, this guy here is certainly uh, I'm not going to say he's going to beat you but he's going to give you uh, a lot of problems and for you guys to, to step up to the, to the table to take these fights that are so, so difficult that it's credit to, to you and your team and to no limits for taking those risks but um, I just want Australian public to know, don't jump on these guys' backs when they're becoming world champions. Let's all get together, support these guys now. Let's sell out the Horton Pavilion and, and watch these young guys who've got you know, the world at their feet. Like Harry again, I just want to say um, congratulations. Congratulations to your opponent for taking such a great fight. And uh, this girl on the left most was already stolen the show before the fight. So, um, you know, so look, um, good luck to everybody. But to, to no limits, I just say, like I said, you just keep putting on great shows. I just came back from overseas where you know, you just broke new ground by putting your own fight on in America. It was amazing. And uh, like I said, to George Rose, I this cost is up there, mate. And it's a great thing in the same room as you. And I'm looking forward to the fight. But I hopefully all the Australian uh, public will support these young guys and, and support them before they become anybody. And um, I'm really looking forward to the night. So uh, thanks. Thanks, Ben, and thanks to the Rose Brothers. Um, Jeff, just before we let you go, mate, um, won't be sitting next to you uh, this Wednesday night, which is a shame. I'm going to miss the, uh, that process. But uh, tell me what your insight is into this main event. What are you expecting to see between Garside and Matep? I'm really expecting to see a war. I know this boy to my left um, is what boxing is about. Somebody who is hungry, who's doing a something that's going to hopefully change his life. I remember when I was a young kid, it wasn't just about winning it, it was about changing my life, um, looking after my family and, and putting food on the plate for my whole family and making everybody comfortable. I'm sure this young man um, is feeling the same way. And like I said, um, Harry's certainly got one hell of a fight in front of him. It's, it's uh, I mean, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm proud of Harry for doing it, but it's not a fight that I would have looked at uh, for my guy having his second fight. I would have maybe looked at it down the road. So I think it's been a, a very, very brave decision by um, you know, Team Garside to do this, and I'm sure they're ready. Okay, thank you so much. That is Jeff Fennick. We'll move up to the top table again now.